So hi guys, basically I welcome once again to my channel. This is the part two, guys. Part two. So basically, I have previously made the part one. So if this video really does the work, then go ahead with the part one. But in the part one, many people were asking about the ports, ports, and I was really confused what to do and what to tell them. But let's clear this out, guys, in this video. So yeah, so this is the part two, guys. There were some points which I forgot to tell. in the previous video video but in this video i will talk about that too so yeah so let me just show you my u torrent no first let me just show you my internet connection itself so previously if you have seen the other video it was about 512 tbps guys so i have just upgraded my internet guys so on this i'm making the part 2 on of the u torrent once again so as you could see my current my download speed is 1 mbps guys and it was previously 512 kbps so yeah so now let me just show you my u torrent uh, also so here is the u torrent and now let me just show you how much speed i'm currently getting while downloading the any torrent file so as you could see 3 4 5 6 and yeah 7 and yeah and goes on so you so many people have uh, have been asking how i'm getting this much speed so yeah so let's get started with this video guys and basically what to do so now let me just go ahead and now let me just stop this up so what this mean to do is first of all just to go to your option preference as usual then let's start from the beginning so once you guys make sure uh the what you have to do is just keep the general thing as it is then you need to go to your connection and make sure that your random port is 42459 and if you are from the us uh, or from the c side then i will suggest you to uh, give a port from 4 to from this to about 45600 so make sure that your random port is from 42000 to 45k Uh, if you are from the C sides, um, and if you are from the US, this works too. But in my case, if that doesn't do work, guys, I'm just suggest you to put the this port. So it was one of the port which really worked for me. And what you need to do is, guys, make sure that you have unchecked this randomized port uh, each time. And the other things are always the same. And what you need to do is just go ahead to the bandwidth, guys. So what you need to do is uh, make sure that Of course, we want this to be unlimited, so keep keep this as it is. And what you need to do is uh, set the maximum number of connection to about three eight eighty six, and then the number of connected peers. I will suggest you to put this up to twenty five. So twenty twenty five is basically the good, but I will suggest you to keep it as. And then here comes the number of torrents per. Uh, or slots for torrent. Now let me just tell you. Just keep it as seven, and that's it. So next, come to the yeah. One more thing, guys. That once you hear, guys, what you need to do is uh just make sure that you have uh unchecked this. Uh, you have just checked this that the apply rate limit to transport overhead, and yeah, apply rate limit to UTP connection. Make sure that these two are always checked, and the stop transfer. on user interaction make sure that it is unchecked then go ahead to the bit on make sure everything has been checked um even this one except the limit local peer bandwidth and everything has been checked and the next thing is in protocol encryption instead of force just uh, go to enable and make sure that you have checked this up and then go to the this going option and make sure that you have number of uh, active torrents um, this really doesn't make any difference but typing in it i will donate to 43 in my case and number of active download make it to 7 437 um it will it will be a good option and seeding global default value guys so here comes the other thing but make sure that you have set it to 453 and seeding make sure that everything is Same as it is. Then come to the directly come to the last one. So here is something which we have to change now. So the first one is bit allow the same IP. Make sure that you have by default it will be false, but make sure that 
you did it to just double click it or you could just check from here so make sure that you have done this to do and the next is the dth now if you want you will just search it for d h t uh, so the dht rate is minus one by default and i will suggest you to make it to two and just double click it and just click on the set to set the value of dht rate to two then the next comes the rss dot update so here so here is the rss update interval so it is by default it is 20 what you need to do is uh, make it 20 or 25 but i will suggest to make it as 20 then once you have done with this guys what you need to do is just click apply and ok so this was my previous setting which it, it, it was working so now let's go ahead and download so i will suggest you whenever you download just click on the force start button guys uh, it really works and as you can see my internet speed 5.6 5.4, 5.7, and we go on increasing by the time. So this is basically how you will get your speed up to 10 or basically up to 9 or 8. So that's it so thanks for watching guys um i hope this video is really helpful and do like and do comment if this works for you or not and yeah guys this is my currently my new channel so if you want you can also click on the subscribe button it will really means a lot your each subscribe really means a lot so i currently make many more videos uh, like how to and tips and tricks and how to fix the, uh, some things up so yeah so if you want to go also check my channel for more till then bye this is your host mr amstra see you in the next video signing out